Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to a new progress video. We just finished a Jad task. We ended up killing him. We got the cape and all that stuff. But uh, I'm not going to trade it in this time because somebody said that I should save them for the Inferno cape when it comes out. Apparently, you're going to have to use fire capes to try out for the Inferno cape. That's a good idea. I'll go ahead and just save them for that. All right, man. That is exactly what I wanted. 150 Dagonoths. I totally want that task. I haven't had one of these in a long time. Now that I'm actually comfortable with soloing Dagonoths, um, I've been wanting them for a long time now, so that's awesome. Let's go ahead and do that task. Nice, we just got ourselves an elite clue scroll. We haven't gotten very lucky, and an update's about to happen. It's actually the Hell Giant update, uh, the boss or whatever. All right, I gotta go up the, the ladder. I just realized I don't have a teleport, so gotta loot everything and run. So I did 132 kills in one trip. That's pretty awesome, because last time my record was 67. I know that's really bad, but I jumped it up to 132, and I could have totally done more. I still had bruise and stuff left, so... Yeah, definitely, I ended up changing up my gear and stuff like that. I got, like, a rune pouch now with blood barrage, and just little fixes here and there. It made the trip a lot better, so... So the hill giant boss just came out right now, and I went to the catacombs to kill them, and I ended up killing 350 hill giants, but the insane part is that I got a long bone and five ancient shards before getting myself a giant key. I don't know if this is Jagex just messing with me on my RNG, but that's pretty crazy. Alright, so here's the boss fight. I don't really know what to expect, but I do know that people have been telling me that it's really super easy, which I can imagine it's for the free-to-play, so... I don't really think I'm going to uh, have a problem with this at all. It's kind of a cool layout though. I'm really glad they did something for free to play though. It's kind of cool. I'm just going to pray mage because I don't know what to expect. A 24? Are you serious? That's actually like not that bad. But yeah, he just got two hit. He's pretty easy for uh, pay to play anyways. I could see for free to play though him being actually pretty brutal. All right, I'm doing this elite clue right now, and I was just killing this boss or whatever. I had to dig at this spot, but ended up finding the uh, golden gnome. They ended up adding to the Legends Guild, and I'm not going to lie. It kind of looks like a Lego man. All right, so we got the clues. We got a hard clue and an elite clue. Let's go ahead and open up the hard clue first. 93k. Let's do the elite now. And 116k. Those are both actually pretty bad clues, but we're at 217 hard clues and 40 elite clues right now. Nice, we just got an elite clue scroll. I actually just finished an elite clue scroll before I came to court because I figured I would get one here, and good thing I did end up finishing it because I love doing elite clues. That's pretty nice. We just got ourselves an onyx bolt drop, and we got crashed by two guys, and we ended up getting the onyx bolts, so that's pretty nice, actually. Um, I love getting big drops when people are trying to crash you. All right, so we just finished up this elite casket. Let's go ahead and open it. That's pretty average clue for an elite. Not very good. So that's what I'm talking about. We just got ourselves a magic fang. We just did about 10 or 20 kills or something, so that was pretty early. So let's go ahead and kill some more and see if we get another lucky drop. And just about like five or six kills later, we get ourselves an elite clue. That's pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and do that and get our third age cloak. All right, so we just got the elite casket. Let's go ahead and deposit everything first, though. That's a really bad elite clue. Oh, thank you. It just came back. Uh, this dragon impling actually went south and just totally ditched, but let's go ahead and open that. Three dragon daggers. Not bad. We're doing some Zora right now. We got a lot of loot in the inventory. That's because I did all this in one inventory. Basically, I was using the method where I teleport back to my house and replenish all my stats and my spec and all that stuff, and then I come back. So this is all off of one inventory of food and pots. And the total loot was 1.87 mil. That's a lot of money off of one inventory of potions. Like, that is some sick profit right there. We'll probably do this a few times, actually. I kind of like this method. And that's the third drop of the trip, and we got ourselves a Steam Battle Staff. Not what we were looking for, but it is only the third kill, so we'll see if we can get other drops in this trip. And we're about to get 86 agility off of only Barbarian Fishing. This has actually taken me a long time. We've been doing a lot of fishing. We're trying to go for 91 for the Mauritania Diary because I want to get the seventh herb patch, so that's going to be really nice once I get that out of the way. I think I might go for 99 fishing afterwards, but I'm not quite sure yet. But also, one thing that's really cool is we got ourselves an elite clue, so let's go ahead and do that. And we just got 86 agility, and now we can also do the Calphite Queen shortcut whenever I finish the elite diary, so then we can start grinding out at Calphite Queen again. Enchanted robe, that's kind of cool. That's a 96k. It's not a lot, but it's still cool. I've never had enchanted. Let's go ahead and open up the elite. 
That's junk. That's only 242k. Let's price check it all together, though. 321k. We've gotten 219. We gotta do 81 more hard clues for the uh, new emote, which is like the Yuri emote. So it's kind of what I'm going for right now. And there we go. That's 91 fishing. Now we can go ahead and do the Elite Mauritania Diaries. This has taken me quite a while to do this, and I think I might actually go for 99 at this point. But I'm not. I mean, I hate fishing, but I need to get it out of the way anyway. So let's go ahead and do that Elite Mauritania Diary though. Now it says some of the rewards is that Robin will exchange more bone meal. I actually forgot he did that, but I guess that's kind of cool. And I'll receive 10% more Slayer experience in the Slayer Tower. I'm never in there, but that's kind of cool as well. But the only thing I really wanted was that new herb patch. That's going to be really nice. Nice. I found him just around the corner. Come on. You're mine. There we go. Let's open it. Dragon Longsword. That's not bad. Let's go ahead and open up a medium clue. That is bad. Hey, at least we got the Dragon Longsword out of it, though. That's kind of nice. Haven't killed Mole in a long time, so I figured I would get some kills right now. I did 86 kills in total. Let's do a price check. This isn't, like, all the stuff. I had some more runes and some arrows that I ended up banking earlier, but 1.6 mil. This ended up taking me about two hours, so that's actually not too bad of loot. Like I said, I killed 86 of them, so it's quite a bit of kills, I guess. And the first kill of the trip, we get ourselves a Dragon Axe from Prime. Fire Torch Man actually got that one. I'm surprised I didn't steal the kill from him because I don't think he's 99 range, but I normally don't come and do duos, but he needed some help, so I figured why not? I don't have nothing else to do right now, so I don't mind duoing every once in a while. All right, we're just about to get ourselves 92 fire making off of this log right here. And there we go, that's 92. We did 90 to 92 pretty much at Winter Todd. This was just the last 3k XP. And let's go ahead and open up all the crates from Winter Todd. I think we got like 35 of them. All right, we got actually 28 items in total. So this is everything we got from those chests. Yeah, that's only 300k and that's about two hours. Like actually about two or three hours at Winter Todd. That's, they definitely nerfed it pretty bad. That's not very good at all actually. So yeah, we ended up with only 298k after, like I said, three hours of Winter Todd. That's pretty bad, but it does seem like it's a good nerf for somebody like Iron Man since it's more of a variety of different items. But as far as like GP, yeah, for people that aren't Iron Man, it's really bad in my opinion. All right, we just ran out of food. We're doing our first Corp solo. I didn't know if I could do it. I've been just trying it. So yeah, he's only, it's already capped out at 2000 max damage. That's kind of cool to see. I've never seen that before, so... See if we can get ourselves a good drop, though. That'd be kind of cool. But honestly, I'm just really challenging myself to see if I could do it. And yeah, it looks like I can. So that's pretty cool. Never soloed court before, but here's my first kill. Let's see what we get. Oh, nice. 175 Onyx Bolts on my first solo. That's pretty epic, man. Oh, that's awesome. But honestly, like, I know it's like not that great of a drop. Let's see how much it is. It's 1.5 mil, I think. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Nice, not bad. Those are all going to my bank. All right, just got a 91K vial donation from BLS. Uh, for some of you guys that don't know, that's kind of one of the things I'm collecting. I'm trying to go for 10 mil of them. Let's see how many we have now. It's almost six mil, actually. We got 8K off of six mil. That's pretty cool, but uh, thanks, BLS15. I, I really appreciate that. We're only four mil away till 10 mil vials now. Nice, we just got the rogue trousers, and that was the last piece. It actually didn't take us too long. I'll show you guys the uh, sets that I got. I uh, didn't get too many like duplicate pieces. I've seen people that have got a lot like worse. So yeah, this is the rogue set. Let's go ahead and put the whole thing on. I mean, it looks kind of cool. The reason I got it is because it's like double loot and I'm going to be pickpocketing to 91 thieving. So I figured I might as well get this out of the way. Um, just kind of a set that I wanted to get out of the way anyways. Just kind of looks cool and it's just a nice thing to have. All right, so we just got ourselves an elite clue scroll drop. We've done about 130 kills so far. Let's go ahead and grab this elite. And we've gotten a hard clue, an elite clue, a whip, and a totem piece. That's pretty awesome in 130 kills. Let's go ahead and do these two clues, though, and then we'll come back and see if we can get more whips. All right, so here's that hard and elite clue from that abyssal demon test. Let's go ahead and open up that hard first. That's complete junk. Let's see the elite. That's also complete junk. One of these days, we're going to get third age again, though. I just know it's coming. And there's 88 thieving right there at the beginning of this episode. We didn't show the stats, but it started off at 85. So we've gotten three levels and we got three more to go because we want to get to 91 for the diary. I don't think I unlocked anything there. And I've made 888k from pickpocketing knights. That's actually pretty good. Like I actually got myself the rogue set so I could get like double the stuff. So this would have been like 444k, but instead it's double. 
But yeah, it's kind of nice to get that extra cash stack there. Um, let's go ahead and check the price check on the bank right now. We're at the bank right now, guys, and let me just show you the value of it. 962 mil, guys. That means we only got 38 mil left for the one bill to be done. Mark my words, guys, next episode, we are completely finishing this series off. Even if I have to do Zora the rest of the way, I don't care. I'm definitely going to, like, finish it. I'm hoping to get some really good drops on the last episode, but we'll see how it goes. I mean, you never know. This episode, I didn't get anything really good drops, but I did get, like, a lot of Zora kills, and I think I made about 30 or 40 mil this episode, so that's really awesome. But yes, definitely mark my words, next episode, we are gonna have that one bill. So definitely stay tuned for that. That's gonna be the finale. All right, but I'll see all you guys later. Be sure to drop a like on this video. Next time you guys see me, I'm gonna have one bill. Peace.